When you start Sibelius, you're presented with the Quick Start dialog box. There are five tabs along the top, and normally you will see the New Score tab. Let's have a look at the rest of them first. The Learn tab is where you can find out various things about how to use Sibelius. There's various um, tutorial videos. There's, uh, the, this is where you would access the reference guide as well. The Recent tab shows you files you've recently been working on, either today or if you press on Older, you can see all sorts of files that you've been working on over the past various amounts of time. The Import tab is where you can import files either using Photoscore or Audioscore, or you can import MIDI files or Music XML files. The Latest News tab is a feed taken from the Avid blog, which is an online forum uh, run by the makers of Sibelius, a company called Avid, and keeping you up to date with everything that's happening in the world of Sibelius. The New Score tab obviously is where you would start a new score. Um, at the bottom of each tab, you'll see various other options. The Open Other would allow you to then, that would allow you to open a file which is not on your recent file tab. The Zoom Control basically just changes the size of the icons that you're looking at. The Close and the exit may sound like they're the same, but they're not. The close will just close the quick start, but your Sibelius will still be running. Whereas exit Sibelius 7.5 will exit the program altogether. You also have the option over here of whether or not you want to show this after when it starts or after you've closed your previous score. So let's start a score. We're going to have a look at the various different um, manuscript papers you have available to you. They're, they're all categorised. Um, the no category ones at the top, bass staff, treble staff, or blank, where you can add your own instruments. We're going to use one of those, um, but let's have a look at the rest of them. You have band, various band options in there, chamber groups, choral and songs, various different choirs basically on there, hand bells, jazz, Latin, blah, 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 blah. You also have the option, you may have noticed a category in there called Martin's Training. This allows you to create your own category. We'll have a look at that in, an, in another video though. Let's start a new score. Let me start with blank. Now, if I was to double click on this, it would give me the, my blank manuscript paper with no instruments, no nothing, no text, no notes, nothing at all. Not ideal. So I'm going to single click it and it lets me work my way through this list of options down the side. So let's do that. Page size, we can select from your standard sort of page sizes. We're going to stick to A4 and you can make it portrait or landscape. Let's again stick it in portrait just now. The house style is like the overall look and feel of your score. Um, it's, if you think of it as like the fonts in a Word document, that lets you change to various of those. Again, I'm going to leave it as unchanged for the moment. Change instruments. I'm going to click on there and it brings up the Add Remove Instruments dialog box. At the moment there are no instruments in our score because we haven't added any yet. So let's add some. I'm going to create um, a woodwind quartet. So up here, for example, where it says Choose From, it says Common Instruments. These are the most common types of the various woodwind, brass, percussion instruments that you'll find, etc. But if you want to find every instrument that Sibelius has in it, you can click on there and go to All Instruments. Or if you're looking specifically for jazz instruments, you can use that category there. This will just basically narrow down the number of instruments that you'll see. All Instruments will show you everything. So let's just have a quick look at that just now. As you can see, they're all categorised, and there are many, many categories. Um, so even if, for example, if you're looking for a guitar, there's classical guitar, acoustic, 12-string, semi-acoustic, jazz, electric, Hawaiian, resonator, European, South American. And each of those has a number of options inside them. So you can see there are literally hundreds and hundreds of instruments available to us. As a result, it may be quite awkward to try and find the one you're looking for, in which case you have the find box up here.
So I'm going to go first of all for a flute. So I can type in flute. And as soon as I type FLU, it shows me the flute. And then I click on there and it'll take me to it. I can either click Add to Score, like so. Or the next instrument I'm going to use is an oboe. So let's just go for oboe. There we go. And once I've found it, I can just double click on it. And that will add it to the score over here as well. Next one is going to be a clarinet in B flat. And then I'm also going to have a bassoon. So let's find the bassoon. There we go. Bassoon. Click OK. Now, oh, before I do that, if I decide I want any of these instruments in different orders, I can select it and then move it up or down in the order. It defaults to the standard orchestral order. So OK that. We now have our instruments starting to appear in our thumbnail over here. We can now pick a time signature from your standard ones. If you want something that isn't a standard one, you can click Other and choose from there. But we're going to stick with 4-4 four, four just now. If we wanted to have an anacrusis bar, an upbeat, we would select there and then pick how long we want it to be. But we don't for this one, so we're just going to undo that. The tempo text lets you choose from a number of pre-existing texts. Or you can just type in there and type whatever you want into there. So tile up to yourself. If you want to specify the speed of playback, it's a good idea to put a metronome mark. Let's say crotch equals 132. That could be anything. It doesn't have to be anything, any of this, the specified uh, metronome, metronome markings. Key signature. You've got major sharp keys, major flat keys, minor sharp keys, minor flat keys. Or you can go for no key signature and choose from your options there. I'm going to go for major flat keys, B flat major. And then down at the bottom, I can put my title. So I'm going to put um, Martin's new song. Composer songwriter is going to be me. So I'll put, oops, I'll learn how to type first of all. Lyricist, me as well. Oops. Copyright at the bottom. Oops. I'm not going to create a title page, but a title page would be a blank page before your music starts, onto which you can put other other um, information. You could put um, a list of orchestration, a list of instruments in it. You could put some nice graphics on there. You can put whatever you like on it. But I'm not going to use it at all. I'm going to click Create. And as soon as I do that, I now have my new score ready to start putting my notes into.